Today we're going to do Caccio di Pepe. Um, it's, a, of course, an Italian dish. It certainly sounds Italian, doesn't it? There's the moron for you. Um, it's basically spaghetti with a olive oil, pepper, and cheese uh, sauce that we're going to make. Most people call for pecorino, pecorino romano, uh, one of those really fancy cheeses that are expensive to buy for a specialty dish, uh, and you got to buy much more than you're ever going to need. So I usually use grated Parmesan, which is what I'm going to use today. So we have, as soon as I can turn the camera around, we have, we have about two and a half ounces of grated Parmesan. Grate the Parmesan. Buy the block, get rid of the freaking can or the plastic jar that has the crap that's probably three quarters sawdust anyway. We have a couple of tablespoons of both uh, kosher salt and pepper. Use kosher salt, don't use table salt. Table salt sucks. We're gonna use a couple of tablespoons of uh, olive oil. And about two ounces each, if you like more spaghetti than probably three ounces each. Uh, of spaghetti and some extra some extra pepper that we're going to put on when we're done and also we're going to grate some fresh parmesan on top of this also and also Jade the Wonder Chef is here supervising as usual um, as you'll see in various videos coming up I can't pretty much take a step without tripping over so uh, she's here to help and eat as she does both so very well. So we have the ingredients laid out already. We'll go down and take one more look at that. Now we're going to put them together and start making this little mother. I'm going to weigh three ounces for each person. And again, this is a two-person meal, so I'm going to make six ounces of pasta. Crinkle, crinkle. Naturally, it's being extremely difficult. Why? Because I've got a camera on. Why not? Fui and yui. I've got one serving. And open a new pack. And we have Ooh. A little bit over. That's close enough for government work what we're doing anyway. So we have 6.2 ounces, a little bit over six, but that's all right. We're gonna put it in our pan. You'll be able to see the recipe, by the way, in the, the description and the info down here later on. We're gonna put our two ounces of uh, kosher salt, and I said salt liver. The only time you're going to be able to get flavor in this pasta. We're going to go right over the top of the pasta, just a little bit. And we're going to this burner is off. There it is. Okay. As you can see, we have the pasta. A little bit of water. It's probably that much above. Two ounces of salt. I'm going to turn the burner on. And cover. No, I don't have a cover for that pot, but that's going to work. That's the cover for my wok. But. Again, close enough for government. While we wait for that to boil, we're going to start our uh, cacio de pepe sauce. So we're going to take about two tablespoons of oil, about. We're also going to turn the heat on to low. We want to get this up to some heat a little bit. Not a lot. Medium hot. No more than medium high, or I'm sorry, medium low, not medium high, you moron. 
it's a very slow pour, if you can see that. That just absolutely is. Pain in the butt every time I use it. Notice I didn't say yes. I'm going to let that come up a little bit. I'm going to add two tablespoons of coarsely ground pepper. The coarse, more coarse you can get it, the better it is. Take peppercorns in your mortar and pestle if you have one, or if you have a very coarse setting on uh, your pepper grill, uh, mill, grill, mill, fill, dill. Start getting that together a little bit. We're going to take our grated Parmesan. Again, I know you're supposed to use Parmesan Reggiano, or sorry, Pecorino Reggiano, but uh, my budget doesn't allow that crap. And Jade, the uh, Wonder Chef, is waiting for the bowl. As you can see, I mean, there she is, just anxiously waiting for it. So, Jade gets her dessert. And we're going to stir this and start to mix it together. You're going to get a little bit of a paste. And again, don't put the heat up to make this work faster. It's not going to work. So we're making a kind of a pasty paste here. And it's just about there, I think. I'm waiting for our water to come to boil. This pasta asks for... I should have looked at that before. Have I done Four to six minutes. So we're going to do four minutes. I found that this method of boiling pasta works really well with package directions. So uh, we'll go four minutes after about two minutes. We're going to pull three quarters of a cup of uh, water out of here. Um, we're using the starch to help thicken this up a little bit and make more of a uh, more of a sauce with it, as you'll see. Pasta's come to a boil. I turn it down just above medium because this is a big pot or a big uh, pan or a big skillet, pick your word. And I'm mixing around a little bit at uh, two minutes, which is about a minute. There's a minute away. I'm going to be pulling some pasta water out of there to put in the uh, sauce. You can see it's a nice paste. Uh, it's a little thin paste. It's not hefty paste. And there's also been another addition, which is uh, what we've opened for dinner. So, because this is for dinner, by the way, this isn't. Uh, let's go in the middle of the afternoon and make a huge meal and uh, throw it to the dogs. Uh, I've had this before. My wife and I have had this before. It's really, really good stuff. Um, I think you're going to enjoy it as much as we do. Um, come on! The smell of this is freaking awesome. You can see that Parmesan's losing a little bit of uh, oil in it. do about that. Again, three quarters of a cup. There's plenty of water in there still. I know you're not going to believe this, but again, watch Alton Brown. Uh, this method works, and it works well. I've never gone back to using a full thing uh, of any uh, boiling water again for anything, and I won't, uh, because this works really well. While you're doing this, uh, pour the water in and keep stirring. Stir, 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 stir. Keep stirring. You're probably going to have to stir a minute and a half or so until uh, this comes together. The emulsifying uh, of the starch in this water should take effect pretty quickly. A minute and a half, two minutes. Pasta is just about ready. 
this is not coarse because it's on camera and why should it? Put a little heat to it. Not ready, man. Come on! This timer, pasta is ready. Pasta off. Take our pasta one time for the time, let the water drain a little bit. You still want wet pasta in here, and throw it in. We're not going to drain it or any other crap, we don't need to. morsel out of here. Almost every morsel. The hell with it. So now we're going to mix this together. Provided of course I can grab a plate without banging it all over the damn place. And bazingo. Let's do a little bit more. We'll dish that out. I know you can't see the plate, you roll in a second. Relax. Take a Valium or something, right? Thorzy, anything? Touch the other pepe. For two. We're going to have a taste test in a sec. Be right back with you. So, we're going to put some Parmesan, freshly grated Parmesan cheese on each one. You don't have to go crazy. Now my wife is going to try this and give you an honest to God opinion. <laughs> While Jay the Wonder Dog is sitting next to her wondering how she's going to get it. You see Jay right in the background right there. <clears throat> Mwah. So good. And that's it. Try it. You're going to like it. I promise. Cheers.